Well, we have another short video about Martha Washington during the American Revolution and her husband's presidency. Martha Washington made a tremendous contribution to the Continental Army. In fact, I can make the case that she kept the Continental Army together at various times when soldiers were threatening desertion by regiment. She would come into camp with her carriage filled with uh, cloth and foodstuffs that had been made at Mount Vernon over the summer. And then she would organize the officers' wives and they would cook for the soldiers, they would sew for the soldiers, they would pray with the soldiers, they would nurse the soldiers, and put on great entertainments for them to keep morale up and keep the soldiers in the army. Washington regarded her as crucial, and when he was submitting his expenses to Congress, he included as a request that Congress would reimburse him for the expenses of her travel. After the war, the Washingtons were eagerly anticipating spending their time in peaceful retirement with family and friends. However, the now famous couple had a constant stream of visitors, and in 1789, George was again called to serve his country as its first president. As the president's wife, Martha became our first first lady. Creating the role of first lady was a political act. The European nations were not really taking us seriously. And uh, so she had to create a role where it was grand enough for the Europeans to not laugh at us, but simple enough for Republican government. She had to walk this fine line between you know, ha being dignified, having people look up to her, but at the same time not acting regal or having any supposition that she was assuming too much authority to herself. Martha Washington was a reluctant first lady. She really did not desire the role, but as with her widowhood, she assumed it with gusto. I mean, she did it with vigor and she executed her duties in, in a most appropriate manner. She understood hospitality. She had a tremendous Southern charm, but she also understood the role of formality and dignity. And um, she really did set the precedent for everyone who came after her. <laughs>